again it goes here with uh, something new you might like to try or you might already be doing it or you may have heard about it and want to give it a go just talking about arpeggios now let's see if we can just run through in a series from the simple to the little bit more difficult and then if you want anything that's exceedingly ridiculous you'll have to go somewhere else <laughs> so let's start with the simple arpeggios now basically the first ones that I learnt were three note or three string arpeggios and if you don't already know they're basically chords but just the notes of the chords are played individually especially when you're playing it on an electric guitar now for instance I learnt say the minor uh, a, major, a minor I should say I learnt the A minor shape arpeggio but when I say shape when you think of A minor like that and if we move it up to say where D is we have to play it like that with our pointer finger here let's take this finger away and replace it over here replace with the little finger this third finger so we've got five six seven on the respective strings heading uh, heading upwards so first finger on E string on the fifth fret second finger on the B string second string on the sixth fret then third finger on the seventh fret on the third string so now what we might want to do with this is play it in this sort of fashion now to get that to get our fingers to mute afterwards we're going to have to lift them so you'll you'll be doing something like this just lifting them slightly not all the way off necessarily because you will end up uh, causing more noise especially under gain so we'll call that D minor there it is on the the fifth fret there when I say fifth fret I'm referring to where my pointer finger is okay so or you might like to pick it either way you can pick everything up or you can pick the first one down then up up down up up okay so that's a minor then another minor but the D minor shape let's take that up and it'll become G minor so we play first finger first string sixth fret then third finger second string eighth fret and then third finger on the seventh fret on the third string so this one will be the same picking exercise you might find that a little awkward initially because it just this seems to roll a lot better than doing that sort of thing one three two one three two but with practice you'll get it okay so we've got the D minor then the G minor then we're going to play a C major in the A major shape A major shape is that now if we move those three fingers up to the fifth fret that becomes the C bar chord in the A major shape let's play the G on the third fret of the first string second finger on the well you can do it either way you can use your second finger on the fifth fret on the second string and then your third finger on the fifth fret of the third string or you can switch them around the other way whichever way you like okay so to turn it around and bring it back into the the start again what we'll do is have an A a B now they're exactly the same chords there this time you're playing on the second third and fourth strings with the fifth sixth and seventh frets respectively that's what it'll be for A then B flat then you're going to go up two frets to the 
what's that, the eighth fret. And then you're going to play the ninth fret with your second finger, and then the eleventh fret with your little finger. Or if you prefer, you can do it like that. And that'll be like an A7 or a diminished chord. So you'll have A, B flat, A7 or diminished. And then do it again. So there is a an exercise of three, three string arpeggios, all descending in pitch, and that the tones are going lower, not. If you want to, you can start practicing the same thing in the opposite direction. So uh, there's a starter on arpeggios. The next one we'll do after this starter on three, three note arpeggios, we'll do six note arpeggios. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> 